Hello guys, welcome back. This is the Mega Family Gamers. We are... He said we gotta do this first. Oh no. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! We got to stack the fire. Maybe I just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? <laughs> oh dear. And then we got the nitrogen. What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? Uh, no one, father. Oh, Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? <laughs> You don't know what you're calling. Nothing's working. Just pay attention to what I say. Damn it! I'm not through with you yet. I... He said you Can't you, you fill that up. Eating me up inside. You don't know what you're Pay attention to what I say. Okay, I'm trying. All right, do it, do it. Go again, Emma, Dr. Emmett. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? I got it. Come on, Emmett. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. <laughs> Yes. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? He said spark. Ding. Yes. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! No way. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. I hope someday you have children and you will not with all. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Okay. Oh, what use is a microorganism for law? I hope someday you have children and you pressuring me to be something I'm not. Now the pressure. Oh, what use is a microorganism for law? Now the... Oh boy, this is getting faster. Ah, halfway there. Really? Keep up the good work. Okay, let's listen in. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Why Galileo's rotations? Do you ever listen to yourself? You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Vent our dirty laundry? Spinning in the graves right now. Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative anchor? You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Hmm. You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. More food. And I am shocked at your behavior. Almost there. Oh man, this is getting hard. Stop being such a crank! Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and Oh my goodness! If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Wait, how many times <gasps> No, I got it wrong. Before I can shake your overbearing criticisms. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled. We got it. What did you do? I thought you were a scientist. Damn it! Slower, sir. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? 
Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around. Uh. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. Damn it! This is getting hard. Why are you always bellowing at me? Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's cruel. Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. What do you call room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. You are I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My I think we did it. Over. We did it. We did it. This is that, that was a not... man. Whew. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We. No! Oh. <laughs> Let Doc do the work. I thought you were a scientist, Doc. Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the US Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the patent office? Uh, one week. Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Uh that's Wait. sad. Keep the throttle at about eight. Wow, we're really going to do it. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. All right, let's go, Marty. Come on, start. Power the drill. Wow. Oh, no. What happened? Mr. Corleone! You're too late. Too late? The doc's not supposed to be... They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Oh, no. Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. And they're still after him. How am I going to rescue him now? Boy, now we got to rescue Doc. 
That's our mission, rescue Doc. Well, no, I don't know how to rescue. Oh, we're taking to take the bicycle. There's no then. way Edna's bike is going to be fast enough to catch up with that paddy wagon, or is there? Let's take the rocket. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. Let's attach it to the bicycle. All right, Mr. Marty the Inventor. Rocket bike, a rocket bike. It looks like the back of the Galorian. All right, I'm coming, Doc. Ah. This is it. It's really up to Marty to try to save Doc. Oh dear. <laughs> Not sure what that'll do. They won't budge. Go left. Oh my goodness. Spare tire. Again. Let's go on the other side then. Oh, there's a box there. Can't break the lock. There's a key, but it's probably a front. Oh, wow. I'll be back. I'll wait right here. <laughs> the toolbox. Uh, go back. Oh, dear. Okay, enough. Let's take out the Taya. I don't know why, but let's take out the Taya. What am I gonna do with that? That's Biff Tannen, the hubcap. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Uh, go back. What is the point of the hubcap? the hubcap if that would do any good. Get Dan is driving the truck. Driving? That explains a lot. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out. Okay. Okay. I'll be back. We're gonna have to open that door. That's unfair. No good, the window shut. Well then let's open the window. Keys, the window shut tight. Hide there, the rear window. Keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. 
only a protraction of pertinence. What? A reach extender. I'll be back. I'll be back. Man, this is hard. Wow, is he really gonna do it on this side? Man. I need a distraction. Leave it to me! Oh, he can do it. Pick up the keys. You have a pillow, Pick up the on. keys. Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me. You. Ouch. Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. Now we gotta open the key, that's for sure. We got the keys. Let's rescue Doc. Stand back, Doc. <laughs> oh no. The hubcap. Deep lead, Sagan. Like a frisbee, go. Son of a bitch! Nice. Are you really gonna get the gun, Marty? Yes, we are. We need something to get rid of these cops! Uh, how about a gun? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Um, any ideas? Any ideas? Doesn't but none of them are applicable to this situation. Why couldn't your younger self have built us a hoverboard? They won't be invented for another 84 years. Hit the throttle. The throttle. What? Oh. Whoa, we're back in the truck. That's not good. Come on, get out, guys. All right, the manure truck. sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Whoa, it blew up. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh... Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No. Uh, oh no, he's this. Oh no, right it's now. Marty. Great Scott! 
Arthur McFly. Oh no. Well, that's episode one of uh, Back to the Future. Oh my, what's going on? What's going to happen? What happened? Anyway, see you guys. Hope we find out what happened. What's this? Uh, what's happening? I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. All right. We'll see you guys. That's Back to Future the Game, Episode 1. The next one is going to be is Get Tannen. Thank you.